What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Rich, back to bring your MLB props for Monday, August 8th. Uh, last day I, you saw me was Friday. I did tell you about Luis Rangifo. We got it done against Robbie Ray, so I hope you guys made some money off of that. We do have a short slate today, a lot of later games, so you don't have to do anything immediately. Don't place your bets right away. Wait for lineups to come out. Take a look at all the matchups. Make sure guys don't get scratched today. Check the weather because there's a lot of things that could happen from now in the morning and mid-afternoon until the games ultimately get played tonight. But let's dive into the slate right now. Now because it's, it's gonna keep it really easy not my favorite slate but i'm gonna keep it really easy for you and who you want to play so let's start with aaron judge you want to play aaron judge today aaron judge in a good matchup up against logan gilbert you know they are playing in seattle not playing in new york so a little bit decreased from a home run factor but aaron judge has remained on fire you know he had a great series in st louis so i think i'm gonna ride him again today and i think we're gonna be playing him in all of our lineups on top of that you have anthony rizzo francisco lindor Jonathan India and Pete Alonso. So as you can see here, you know, my threshold for plays is usually about 60%. So I don't love the slate today. But the reason I wanted to show you guys the Mets is because the Mets as well have also been on fire. I think against Justin Dunn, um, he could be in trouble. The Mets are just playing so well. I believe that they're going to really put it on Justin Dunn today. And then on top of that, we know the Cincinnati bullpen is nothing to be desired either. So if I was making the case, I think you'd probably want to play Judge Rizzo um pete and lindor i just think you play a four pick i don't know if you want to do much more than that if you want to mix and match you know maybe judge and pete or judge and lindor be my guest you know i i, I don't hate it at all i'm not going all in on this slate i just don't think it's worth it you know you see lindor has continued to just be a monster lately especially hitting his prop his prop is at eight today so you know it's still pretty high you know it's been seven and a half it's been eight it's been eight and a half some days but he's hitting it very consistently so I don't mind it at all playing him, even at 8. You see he's gone over that number quite a bit. The rest are just above average. You know, they're hitting about 50% of the time, or in the case of Judge, 60% of the time. So it's not crazy to think that they could all obviously go over. I think they're in good matchups. You know, Roman Lariano's on this list up against Jose Suarez. Don't love the matchup. Don't hate it. I think it's fine. Again, total of 4.5. Definitely has a shot to go over. And same with Jonathan India. Total of 4.5 up against Chris Bassett. He's one of the He has one of the better matchups as far as Cincinnati goes against Chris Bassett. But Bassett has been pretty good. And we know the Mets bullpen has been pretty good behind him. But with that 4.4 average over the last 7 days, I just can't trust him. At least Laureano has a 9. But the issue is he's a 0.64 hits per game over the last 14 days. Which gives me the concern. You can see Judge here 1.36. Lindor 1.62. India 1.33. If you did want to take him, he, again, he, at least he's getting on base and getting hits. But Pete Alonso as well, 1.31. So these guys are getting on base. You see they're scoring runs. They're getting RBIs. They're getting extra base hits. This is how you go over. And I think that if you stick with the New York, whether it's the New York Yankees, New York Mets, put them together. That's what I think is going to happen today. That's just who I'm looking at right now. And why I believe these guys can go over. And I told you guys over the weekend, I was working on the strikeout model. So I was putting that together. So you can kind of take a look at this. Um, again, nothing really today. Just kind of give you a taste of what it's going to look like if I do ultimately use it. Chris Bassett looking like the top play at 5.5. I believe on prize picks, it's already up to 6 though. So I'm not necessarily recommending that one it's it's a weird slate you know you see this is opponent k percentage there's not a ton of guys who k a lot from these teams so there's a bit of an issue there but you do see the swinging strike swinging strike or called and swinging strike percentage from chris bassett and from usually kikuchi both look to be in good spots you know kikuchi is a guy i did think about today um i believe he's already up to five on prize picks definitely do not want it there you see him projected for 4.9 so nothing crazy um, but I would not be targeting many of these guys. You know, you may see people target Blake Snell. I think he's in an okay spot, but I'll have to see who the umpire is. So this factors in strike or strikeout rate, factors in sw called swing and strikes. And it also factors in umpires because we know the umpires ultimately do have a factor on the game. So I have a list of all the umpires, their history, whether they're good for strikeouts, bad for strikeouts. And so that I do add to the model later in the day once those are announced. But for now, I'm not seeing a ton of guys I like. You know, I'm still testing it, so I'm still tweaking it a little bit. But I wanted to show you guys that I have been working on it a little bit. But you just see some of these K rates are so low, 21%, 19%. It's just these aren't guys you really want to target. You know, maybe Keegan Thompson for an under. Um, if he has a bad umpire, that could be one that's all right. You know, see Jamison Tyone. We'll see. Uh, I don't I don't love Tyone today. I think there's a chance that he does go under. But again, it's not a bet I want to make right now. And so overall, 
this is kind of what I'm looking at for the slate. Again, you know, Aaron Judge, Pete Alonzo, Francisco Lindor, Anthony Rizzo. These are guys I'm targeting. Um, Rizzo also has homer off Logan Gilbert and is only at bat. So there is that if you do want to lean into a little bit of history there. But the rest of the guys, no history at all. Um, like I mentioned with Dunn, he is just a guy who's, oh, he could get really, really, really shelled today. I believe it's his first start. If it's not his first start, it's his, it's his first start um, in the history of what I look at. You know, I look at last 30-day data for the pitchers. And if so, I haven't pitched in the last 30 days, there's no data on him. So he usually gets, you know, a slightly above average matchup factor. And we know that Cincinnati bullpen is no good. So that's kind of where I stand. I think you're going to stick with Judge, Rizzo, Lindor, and Pete and see what happens today. I wouldn't go crazy. I'd go pretty light. I don't love this slate today, but those are the numbers behind it. Those are the reasons why I like those plays. And as always, drop me a like and subscribe for future content if you appreciate what I do. And if you tail, give them hell. And if we fail, do not bail. I'll be back some more with more MLB picks. I'll see you guys later. Make some money today, and I'm out. Peace.